So after doing two chapters of Hugging Face NLP course, there are two chapters remaining in section one, introduction to Hugging Face. Okay. But trust me on this, I think we should, you know, from chapter two, jump to chapter nine and then come back to three and four. And I think uh, this, this will be a better design. You will understand why after <laughs> you also follow along chapter nine with me. Okay. <clears throat> so let me uh, go ahead and go inside the chapter. So what is a uh, gradio? This is what we are going to do now. So what did we do in chapter one and two? We took a model, a transformer model and used it to do prediction. Now that model takes an input and gives us an output and that model is a trained model. Now taking that output and actually showing it on website so that we can interact with the model. That is what this chapter nine teaches us. In first two chapters, we were still in the coding environment. But here, when we jump to chapter number nine, we jump and start interacting with our model, start understanding our models. Maybe now we have a, a, mo a more personal relationship with them. And then when we go and look at internal details of model, they'll make more sense to us. That's why start playing with the models, understand their strength, understand their weakness, so that we can check strengths of the newer models as they keep coming. We need to build our skills of judging the model, right? So, yeah. So, we take the model and we share uh, kind of like uh, its output. So, for example, a sketch recognition model here, this demo, wherein we can draw anything. So, I am going to draw, let's say, mountains and then this and then here I have river. And here, let's say I have sun. So if I have drawn on this drawing, it has not uh, been able to recognize what uh, the thing is. Let me draw something simpler. Circle and sun. Okay. So after doing this, it has understood this is a sun. So like this, this model can identify more than 300 categories. Okay, if you check, this is the website of this uh, data where it has come from. 50 million drawings by, you know, people all over the world. So if you want to understand how people from, let's say, a certain geography, uh, imagine Apple. There, there were some papers in which they... They saw how people from different ethnicities look at chair and what was a POV different and how is a collective interpretation uh, influenced by these things. You know, all that information you can go and find in this 50 million images, which have been categorized into 500, uh, 300 classes for us. And this model does that classification. This model helps us do this. If you want to work on this, Gradio connects the model to a working uh, example okay then we have a, a similar thing you know what does it do it gives us an api you know a way to interact so in the background when i click on submit this goes to the model the question which is written here goes to the model and answer comes up so behind the scene model is being called on these three things what is the paragraph this paragraph is about harry potter series Question is who is villain and who is hero? I have asked this question and provided this context from Wikipedia. And when I submit the question, okay, here through this, it is easy to understand that it talks about Harry Potter, the main hero and villain, which is Lord Voldemort. But if you ask this question like this, let's see uh, how much time it takes to answer. It only talks about one thing. If I ask who is the hero, just hero, I have found out that this model answers correctly. If I ask about a villain, he, the model answers correctly. If I ask about hero's uh, friends, it answers correctly. But for these things, we can see this is where it is weak at. 
so we can interact with the model see how good or bad it is then in the background we can check in the code and maybe do some visualizing of embeddings in another thing maybe so we are looking at the model from different perspectives not just code but interacting with the code visualizing code that's why distill pub is so amazing so if you go to this distill pub it has a app grand tour of visualizing neural networks and it goes into extreme details extreme details of uh, visualization so after you get a deeper understanding of what is happening how the data is being processed and blah 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 then you can go a lot deeper and your understanding of neural network fields gets improved a lot so model to its visualization to its interaction okay then another demo it is background removal so the code is again pretty simple the model has been trained you specify whichever is the image you want to provide and then you submit the thing to the model it takes in this image as an input start processing it then uh, you know whatever time it takes and then we get the output and it is rendered as background removed thing so let's see how good it is yeah pretty good pretty good pretty good <laughs> this snake snake like looking thing probably is perceived as some tro or something so that's why it's not removed but otherwise so amazing right so that is gradio so let's start with building our first demo immediately so code you can find here building the first demo you can find it on my github repository so if you go to my uh, profile and hugging face nlp course in the section one introduction to hugging face you will find that i have shared this i have not yet shared this oh i have not yet uploaded them okay so now you should find them here so you can find the course uh, and the links and you can follow them along okay so how do you use gradio gradio is pretty interesting it starts as a package a simple package we import import gradio as gi whatever we need there are a few types which are defined so gr dot interface gr dot audio gr dot image gr dot text box if you want more details you can simply check gradio's uh, components and uh, you will find that there are a lot of things it supports so here you see on the left hand side there are many things it supports but there are generally only a few ones we need so just with that we can you know start interacting with the models so the few ones we need is interface text box audio and uh, there is also a chat interface how does it work see gradio is a function uh, gradio is a thing which takes just three inputs function to be called on whatever the input to the model is then inputs to the function and whatever is the output of that function gets rendered by uh, this thing let me repeat input is taken from the web page here gets passed on to the model uh, with the function here and output of that model gets rendered in this section here so input processing output so when we execute this it builds a model immediately which helps us interact with it so this is an extremely simple model let me open it into browser so that uh, it's easier to interact so i've just say asdf it takes this as an input it is passed to the function and that function takes it and gives this as output what is the function it takes in this input return hello person with name this and uh, this takes as a input so pretty simple right so if i say something like this where i say gr dot text box and i specify label equal to something something placeholder so these are details of the text box 
above we only provided gr.text box now here we specify the behavior and then we again give it to a function inputs output so when we execute this it kind of like uh, we can configure it to give hints about you know what it expects as an input so for example type your name here and example of name john doe so this way we can help a user who are new to our model understand what uh, we are supposed to do so going back to the transformers pipeline we import a one line pipeline for text generation for interface we give in function as simple predict which takes in this model which has been created from the pipeline takes in input and gives us the answer and we render it here so just execute it it uses a model by default and it launches a execution so if i uh, put a prompt here uh, so prompt example mm, what is summary of data science field this as a input is taken to the model and we get a uh, output so what is summary of data yes of course you always need to define what you do <laughs> you can do this look at how bad this answer is because the model is is just automatic i guess we need to fine tune it on a specific problem but you see we can start interacting with it immediately we can see the quality of the answer we can see other properties we can just print those details here so by using gradio by using gradio you can actually do quite a lot of things so check its documentation if you know follow along these examples i have uh, taken and there are, in its documentation there are a few examples building a pictionary app then image classification in pytorch then there is another one image classification in tensorflow and keras then there is another one image classification with vision transformers and then there is another one named entity recognition so these are less than 10 lines of codes of demo you you know you just write this in your code and uh, execute and you will get a working model so you can now connect a transformer pipeline to a ongoing demo okay and this way you can get an interaction and feeling like like i have said and then you start looking into internals of the uh, model and you play with it and you constantly uh, check the model check the accuracy and uh, go back to the model and go uh, to the output in gradio and this is the loop we'll keep on doing this is why chapter 9 is important after uh, we have done uh, chapter 2 <laughs>